last my feather boa caught feather of the night. And one of those. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, I'm a veteran. I know you don't know me, but I'm a veteran of stage and screen. I have uh, performed at many wonderful places, um, from the original Gotham on Woodward, Urban Break Cafe in Hamtramck, um, Zato's Cafe, and um, my favorite, oh, Christine! <gasps> and uh, my favorite of all places I performed was the fabulous, wonderful Rainbow Room where I won Miss Rainbow Room, 1998. <laughs> um, I would like to dedicate this song to all the memory of all those wonderful places. Because, um, you know, we've all been kind of squeezed out by the leeches of commercial coffee shops like uh, Caribou and Starbucks, or Star Yucks, as I call it. Um, and Caribou is B-O-O. -O. Yeah, yeah, B-O-O. -O. <laughs> it does smell in there. It's a bad blend of coffee. Uh, and, <laughs> um, so, this song is a Tay original. It's called The Wolf and Grandmother's Bed. Mm. Oh, they said I should play that girl dressed in red with a basket of bread. I wouldn't be bad, but if I find the wolf in grandmother's bed, oh, I found the wolf in grandmother's bed. It was something that I should have dread, but it filled me with ecstasy. The wolf, the wolf, in grandmother's bed. Oh, they told me I should play Little Miss Snow White. In a woods with seven men, I should do nice. But if I have to focus on one man each night, oh, the wolf in grandmother's bed. I found the wolf in grandmother's bed. I thought it'd be something that I would dread, but he filled me in ecstasy. The wolf, the wolf in grandmother's bed. Oh, Grandma, what big eyes you have. Oh, Grandma, what big teeth you have. Oh, Grandma, what a big, oh, you have. The wolf in grandmother's bed. I found the wolf in grandmother's bed. I thought it'd be something that I would dread. But he filled me with ecstasy. The wolf, the wolf in grandmother's bed. The wolf, the wolf in grandmother's bed. Woo! I have a straight alter ego named Ted, and he goes to dive bars to sing karaoke. And I was at D.B. Cooper's recently, um, Campbell and Twelve Mile, and I sang a, um, December by Collective Soul. And this, this seratitude came up to me afterwards. I, I don't understand. I mean, I was wearing a blue and pink glitter gem in the hologram t-shirt, but for some reason she thought I was straight. And she came and sat next to me and was hitting on me. And I was like freaking out. I'm like, oh my God, get away from me. Oh, you're so cute and your voice is so great. You should be an American Idol. And I'm like, oh my God, get away from me. You're a woman. Get away. Um, it's the first time in my life I ever drank beer. <laughs> Not just any of the worst, Sam and Adams, so bitter. But, so anyways, um, earlier, is he still here? Um, Keith was talking. He took off. He took talking about the Dixie Chicks. Well, the Dixie Chicks wrote us, and performed a song called Earl. Well, you know, they weren't the original about the concept of a woman doing in their man. Um, that goes to Mae West, and the song is called Frankie and Johnny. Frankie and Johnny was lovers, Lordy how they could love, for they 